So, welcome to day three of week five then. And as usual on day three, it's a bit of a globe-trotting experience today. We start off in Wales at Fosslas, then we go to the Yorkshire part of Britain for Redcar, then we're back towards the more Midlands area with Southall, and then we'll be whizzing off to Singapore for Cranji before we end the day at Ranwick and then Durbanville. So we're all over the globe today, and lots of low-grade handicaps give some of the lower trainers a chance to get some winners and some big group ones as well. Three big group one races, the first one of which is the Singapore Airlines Cup then pretty big field in that one and plenty of good horses in there some good old favourites from last year as well Trev is back for John Morgan Baltic Road for Jim Murray's got to be in with a chance so to his favourite you who's also had two really big wins this season and crisis talks as well that's going to be a really interesting sort of race plenty in there with chances after that the second race at Cranji is the Cranji Mile which is basically going to be another running of the Guineas isn't it uh, but this time it'll be the Phillies and the Colts all thrown in together and you've got Faux Par at the top for Steve Steve Rand, you got Tuk Tuk for John Morgan, you got Dark Before Dawn for John Morgan, you got Octo Nimbus for Thunderspark, so I think that's about four guineas wins, isn't it? Um, Silver Chairs in there as well, Velez Bay Court as well, and Thing and Down Under, they're all winners, and they're all big race winners this season. There's one or two down the bottom as well that look like they could have a little bit of a squeak, but it's going to be an absolute belt of a race, that one, and we'll be looking forward to that. The third and final great group one of the day is the AJC Derby over in Randwick, and that looks like it's going to be a pretty good race as well because we've got Tokyo in that one for Paul Rhodes at the top smiley face it's unbeaten for Stephen Rand they got the big two, but 101 Badabing for Molly at Surfer has also been first and second, taking a step up in class. He really would have to take a huge leap to win this one, but he's got to be in there with a chance. Personally, I would think it's between Tokyo and Smiley Face, but that'll be that'll be it. We finish off in Durbanville for a couple of low-grade races, and that'll be it for week five. You get your transfers done this week as well. The transfer window will be open as soon as these races are finished, I would think. You've only got until Thursday to get your things in and your nominations made for next week. So it's all going to be a bit hectic this week and we'll see you all next week.